Hi, Entropians. It's me, Mikhail. And guess where I am? I bet you can't guess. No, I'm at Port Atlantis on Calypso. I haven't been on Calypso just to hang out in months. But there were some people that wanted to know, if you're a new player, what do you do? Or how did, what did you start doing when you were new that was helpful? And so I thought I'd make a video about that today, but I guess I'm going to have to talk a little bit about it, but then we're going to go in search of some mobs. Um, but I can tell you that the game has changed so much since I started. When I started, there weren't even vehicles. So in order to, and in order to get um, all these teleporters, you either had to, like, well, you basically had to walk. <laughs> you might have to swim. I swam. Oh, I swam a lot of this water, all these rivers. I was so scared back in the day because I didn't know if there were mobs in there. And also, you know, we didn't have the island chain. We didn't have the volcano. We just had the two continents. And, you know, you basically got a ride from someone who wanted to help you or you hoofed it. So, but, so I guess my first tip for you would be to get the teleporters. Get as many teleporters as you can. Because that will help you in the long run. So that you're not spending a lot of time, money, energy trying to get from point A to point B. If you can use a teleporter to get close, that's half the battle. The second tip I would give you is do not invest in armor too early. The reason I say that is because armor, while it will protect you, only works so good based on your evade and dodge levels, and you either break it or you have to repair it, and repairing it costs ped. So I would recommend that you just hang out in your jumpsuit for a while and if you get a mentor, that's great because then you will earn a free set of armor. Um, I know that the CDF armor that you can get from Mission Chains is kind of popular, but I wouldn't recommend trying to get all the pieces. I mean, because those missions cost ped also. I mean, basically, everything's going to cost you in the long run. Even if you're earning the free set of armor through a mentor, you still have to hunt, you still have to mine, you still have to craft in order to get the percentage point up to 100% so you get your free armor. So if you really aren't in a hurry and you just want to be on Calypso, then I'd recommend that you just hang out with, you know, a, I don't even know what's in the TT anymore. Maybe we should go and look. Um, a TT gun and possibly you know, do some swanting. A lot of people don't even realize or don't even know what swanting is. Swanting is a combination between sweating and hunting. So if you're out killing punies, sweat them first. Get that, get the sweat off of them. And then once they're dry, kill them because then you have the sweat you can sell for. What is it going for now? 1.4 pedicay? I don't even know. But once you get a thousand of them, you can sell it for pittance. And also you get the loot when you kill the mobs. And you get the evade skill when the mobs hit you. It's really a good deal. Incredibly boring. I mean, literally mindless entertainment. But in the long run, it will do you good. Um... And it's going to be hard for me to share with you exactly what works for me because look at my stats. Even if I try to pretend to be a noob, it's going to be real hard for me to pretend because I've been playing this game far too long and I'm still a middling. You know, I'm not even great, uber, golden, whatever. I'm not. I'm just a normal player that is like maybe low mid-level. I'm, I maybe I'm a high level beginner. So that's something to consider. And how you would check your evade level, your evader, is in the combat tab. 
And I've got, do, 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 do. Oh, here's my Dodger. I'm a level 18 Dodger. That's really not that great. You get dodge from robots and other mechanical type mobs. And then my evader is a level 23. And you get evader from getting hit from normal mobs. So, yes, TT machine. Let's look and see what they even have here these days for like weapons and stuff. Solo mate Onyxo. Whatever the hell that is. Costs you four ped. Uh, 3.5 to 7. Okay, so I'll see if I have a gun that does comparable damage with me. And then we've got the pistol, which does 2.5 to 5, 70 hits a minute. Hmm. The E knuckles, the end blade. Hmm. Okay, well that's what you guys got to work with these days. That's interesting. Let me see what I got. Oh, I gotta look at my storage. I emptied my storage. Ha ha. And normally I keep the stuff to sell in my shops, so let's see. Uh, I really want a real beginner gun. Herman Cap Zero. This one does four to eight still a little higher than the pistol that you guys have. I have an Apollo, but I really don't know where it is. And that used to be the TT gun once upon a time. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> oh, and if you don't know where you put it, you can check your um, web inventory, like on entropiauniverse.com. If you click um, the support and then my items and then it'll make you log in just like you're logging into the game and it'll show you your items list and it'll show you where stuff is. It's a little complex for today. I mean really I just want to find a newbie gun, preferably one I can repair. Um, whoops, wrong one. Whoops. Yeah, I'm still drinking coffee. Or even like this one has a Hermit Arc rifle. This is the Arcadia beginner rifle. This does 5 to 10. I think no matter what, I'm going to end up with that. <clears throat> Let me see what I got on me. Yeah, no. All of these are like, hmm, kind of bigger guns. Oh, except for my next island gun. 4 to 8. That's perfect. 44 a minute. That's what I'll use. I'll use my next island gun, then I don't have to burn up anything. So, okay, so I have my next island gun, which I have now. I have 1,200 shots, and I have a whip on me, I think, but it's probably a higher-end whip. Yeah, well, no, it's a garter. So this is a low-end whip, 1.5 to 3, so in case I find something to tame. That's pretty much what I got. So let's go see what there is to see. Now, when I started this game, we started in Port Atlantis. Um, and all, the, all of it was kind of geared to Port Atlantis being the place to be. And I guess that's changed now as well. Oh, look, here's a mission. And we should, oh, Merry Mayhem. Okay. Fine, great. That's well. There you go. That's how you find out where Mary Mayhem is, Fort Ithaca, Nymph Town, and Fort Zeus. Raven Jade entered channel. Uh, okay. So anyway, I'm in AFK and mumbled. That means she went to AFK also. So great. I got the mission for that, and it gave me the waypoints. Fort Ithaca, Fort Zeus, and Nymph Town. If you look at your map. Dun, 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 dun. It's got them on the map. So if I am here and I need to get to there, yeah, you either need a vehicle or you need the teleporters. Just saying. And I don't think we need to track this anymore. Um, so we'll go run around and see what we can see. There's a lot of green around Port Atlantis. That's nice. The last time I was here, which I, like I said was months ago, 
it was a ghost town. There were no, there was nobody here. Nobody. And I wonder why they're all here. I wonder what's going on. I think the snargs are here. Is that right? I think I heard that, that the Christmas snargs are in the, in Port Atlantis, amongst other places. And I used to get so lost running around this town. I never knew where I was. It was so frustrating to me. Um, oh, look, someone's wearing my disco on a shopkeeper. Let's go look. Oh, two shopkeepers with disco on. That's cool. Bobby Joe Stormbreaker. Oh, really? Bobby Joe Stormbreaker owns this? Christine's Beauty Dungeon. <laughs> and she owns that shop on Rocktropia, or in Tangerine, with the, she's the one that owns the shop with the instance with the um, D-blocks in it that I did the basement instance of. I'm going to be doing a video on the basement instance at Raven's Vampire Dungeon. I just haven't been able to get to Rocktropia to do that. So what is this? This is the Port Atlantis Bank. They own the bank? I didn't know they own the bank. They need to be my sugar people. That's what they need to be. So what else? Eh, there's just, there's a lot of people just hanging out here. I don't know why. So anyway, I'm just going to find my way out of town. Here's the Port Atlantis Mall. Hmm. Fond memories to be had running around this place. When really all I'm looking for is a gate to get out of here. And there in front of me, there it is. Oh, and there's some kind of mission person there too. Oh, another Santa's little helper. Well, they got them all over the place. You should not have to ask in Calypso chat where the Merry Mayhem stuff is, if they have those things all over the place. Oh, and they have storage and everything right here now? They never used to have that. It used to be if you got killed in the field, you had to run all the way into town to hit a storage machine and then come back out. All they had here was the revive. <laughs> and you'd be like, damn it, now I gotta go buy more ammo or something. And yeah, horrible. So let's just make our way out of town, see what we can see. The other thing that maybe wouldn't be a bad investment, of course it's up to you, is a teleportation chip, which would be the TP chip 1. Um, this thing. I have, an, I have an unlimited one, but I think they have them in limited as well. And so it'll help you, it lets you jump places. I'm sure you've seen that. Um, if you're getting hit by a mob, you can't jump out. It'll make you lose concentration, but um, might be a, a quicker way to get to a teleporter. <clears throat> so anyway, let me get out my rusty noob gun. Oh, bristle hogs, and I can tame them. Exciting. No, I don't really want to tame them, though. Well, at least I know where they are now. Look at that. Right there, you could be taming away. We'll keep going. See on my map where I'm running to. I hate that when I'm wearing a white t-shirt and I take a drink of coffee and I like miss my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and it goes down in front of my shirt. Only a little. We'll cut cross country and see what mobs we have up here. Okay, so here are the punies. And these are the mobs that you would start on if you were a new player. And... Let's pretend I am. I mean, there's all kinds of them. So the first thing I would do, though, is I wouldn't shoot and kill it. I would sweat first. Oh, not my scanner. I would I would sweat first. So I would just turn on my auto sweat and have at it. And this would be swanting, for those of you that don't know what swanting is. And... You don't have to be in your underwear. Your clothes only take damage, only decay if you remove them and then put them back on again. That's when your clothes will go downhill. So if you just leave your clothes on all the time, 
You could get hit all day by a mob, and it's not going to wreck your clothes. That's your armor that gets impacted by getting hit, not your clothes. So even though I'm losing health points by taking these hits, I, my clothes will be fine and not even have any wrinkles in them. Isn't that nice? So I won't have to use any woolite. But you can see that the concentration is lost, extraction attempt failed. You'll get that. You're trying to sweat this mob and it hits you and it'll ruin your sweat mojo. So then you have to start again. So that's why sweating can be incredibly boring and it can take a while and you need to gain the skill to sweat. It, you know, higher level sweaters are going to lose concentration less often than someone who's new. And I was looking for, I don't remember what they call the sweating, oh here, sweat gatherer. <laughs> and this is another example of do as I say, not as I do. I'm only a level 10. I've been playing this game for seven years, I'm only a level 10 sweat gatherer. But I've gotten evade from getting hit by mobs hunting. Because when I started playing the game, I ran into this person who was like, Oh, here, have some armor, have a gun. And he gave me like beginner armor. You know, it was pixie. Not the adjusted pixie you get from being a mentor, but just pixie. And he dragged me all over the map. Took me into situations I probably shouldn't have been in as a newer player. And after, I don't know, a couple months, I finally broke down and started depositing. Because then it ruined... You know, I tried to go back and just sweat, which is free, and it ruined me because I had seen what else I could do in game and I wanted to do all that fun stuff. So then it was, well, I'll just deposit $10. Well, I'll just, maybe this, this time I'll deposit $20. Oh hell, this time I'll deposit $100 and go hunting. And so I made the classic noob mistakes of hunting above my level, buying armor that was above my level, using weapons that were above my level. I mean, all of that contributes to not being eco. And when I say being eco, that's economical, meaning you do things that won't cost you more than what you'll get back in return. So I did all of that. So this you know, standing here in my clothes, taking damage, building my evade skill, building my sweat gatherer skill, and sweating this critter, which is dry because I've been rambling. These are the eco things to do until you get to be a higher level. And now that it's dry, I'm going to switch to my gun. I'm going to take it out, and then I'm going to loot it. And I got Nova Fragments. Yay! <laughs> so that's an example of swanting. Um, and you can do it to all of them. And then once you, you can even continue to do this as your skills build, you can go out and swant larger mobs. You don't have to just do the punies. Like, as you know, if you're sitting out here and you're like, well, I don't have to fap and I'm getting hit all day long and I'm good, well, Go find a bigger mob to swunt. Like this level 2 snable snot took me down to half health and 2 hit. Well, I already was down a little bit, but, you know, it's hitting me for 11 each time. So, you know, I mean, it's only going to take like a couple of hits and then the thing could potentially kill me. So might I have to heal? Yes, I might have to heal. What's a good healer? Well, I guess the TT machine healer. I don't know how eco that is. I like to use um, regeneration chips. This one is a regeneration chip one limited, so it's only healing me for like 12. Let's look at the stats. I've had this chip forever. It was a good investment. Um, it's almost broken. But it'll heal for 12 to 16 every time. So, you know, maybe get one of those. I know that my fap that I use, I've gotten scolded numerous times because it is not eco to use. Um, if we look at the, it's an average, average with a chip because I've got the economy enhancer on it and it's still only an average. You really want one that's very good or 
you know, better than very good <laughs> to be eco. You know, those, those, when it says average or very good, like here, this one says very good. Um, that's kind of important to pay attention to because that will help you figure out if it's eco or not. So let me finish this one. And then I think, you know, this would be like the first installment of how to be eco would be this. And you, and it's not just land animals, you can swant. Um, I've done that for the Ripter fish that are little fishies in the water. You can, I believe you can sweat them too before you kill them. So if you feel like going swimming, so it's not like it, it it's not like you're stuck with no variety. You can sweat the bristle hogs before you tame them. Um, it, it's just a good idea to get what, to get everything you can out of the mobs. So, yeah, I've got 28 bottles of sweat so far. Well, that's 28 bottles of sweat I wouldn't have had if I just ran around killing everything. And the sweat does add up. If you save it, you can sell it. It is needed for crafting. So, you just have to save up large stacks. I wouldn't recommend selling sweat on the auction ever. Only person to person. And, you know, get... Try to get your 1.7, 1.8, 2-ped per K if you're lucky. Um, I know Big Industries does a sweat camp where they pay sweaters, and it's like once or twice a week or something, and they'll pay a full 2-ped a K for sweating. But you have to be there, and you have to do the time. So I guess that's my first installment of maybe how to be eco, um, sweating and hunting. And maybe I'll do one on crafting, and then I'll do one on mining, too. I don't really know what else to tell you beyond that. I mean, get your TPs. Don't hunt, mine, fish, look at other people above your level. <laughs> don't wear armor above your level. I mean, that is, that is the biggest mistake that I see all the time with newer players is they'll buy a, a larger set of ammo, you know, a gremlin, a disco, a firewall, whatever. They'll sell, they'll, um, let's see, what's another one? You know, stealth or just other, I mean, they'll pay thousands a ped for this fantastic armor when they're a level 7 gun. And then they think they can go out and kill these giant mobs and they get they're smushed and they're like I spent thousands of pet I have this giant gun I have this huge this great set of armor and I'm dead and it took all my ped because I had to repair everything yeah it's called you were doing it above your level you were being an idiot trying to play this game and you cannot do that if you want to be eco you cannot be an idiot you have to play within the confines of your character, your avatar skills. And I know it hurts to hear it. And unfortunately, I'm one of those people that will just tell you the damn truth. I mean, I've done that before. People will come in to my mumble or they'll ask me questions in game. And I'm like, dude, you're being an idiot. Why are you hunting that? You have no business hunting that. Someone was out hunting Teledons on Arcadia. They were a level 8 gun. They had like zero evade. And they're out and they're they were pissed and were gonna rage quit because they lost like a thousand ped in like fifteen minutes. I'm like and they're like, What what this game is screwing us and blah 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 and I'm like, No, you are being an idiot. You have no business hunting those mobs at your level. And he, that person did not want to hear it, got pissed at me, stormed off, never to be seen again. Oh well, you know what sucks is that, that you know, unless he sold out, all that stuff is sitting in his storage, just rotting away. He could have at least given it to me first, at least I was honest with him and told him he was being an idiot. And like I said, once you're in game long enough, if you just want to throw money at the game and do what you want, go ahead. Me? I'm not the most eco player in the world. Do I ever, ever, ever cry about losing ped? No. Do I? I mean, yesterday I did a Merry Mayhem. Level 2. Level 2. 
Those spiders were kicking my ass. I ended up doing the Kirby's. I lost 150 pet on that instance. It just didn't give me loot back. Oh well, roll of the dice. And I wasn't, I wouldn't say I wasn't being eco, because I was. I had good armor on, I was using a good gun, you know, it was well within my level. See, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> me going and doing like a level four, that would have been very uneco for me, because I'm not a high enough level to take on those mobs effectively. I would have been fapping myself way too much. But a level two, yeah, I can do it. It's fine. But I feel horrible for these new, brand new players who run out and buy this great armor, and then they're in a level 3 instance. I'm like, what are you doing? I lost 150 pet on a level 2 instance, and it was just because it was a bad instance. Like, I'll have to try again, and maybe I'll do better. I would never hunt above that. It was I would have been healing myself way too much. I would have been repairing my armor and my gun way too much. I don't know. Rant over. I just need people to use their head. And, I mean, if you don't want to be eco, then just understand it's going to cost you money. And if you're willing to deposit into the game, that's wonderful. Do it. I'm not going to stop you. I'm not even going to roll my eyes. Okay. So, I guess that's all I got for now. I mean, I will talk about the daily missions, too. There are daily hunting missions. There are daily crafting missions. And maybe we'll do the construction attempts for my eco-construction. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so good luck to you, Huffbig. Have fun. Tell your friends about me so they all subscribe. And don't be afraid to comment on any of my videos and tell me what an idiot I am. It's okay. I can take it. I might be a girl, but I'm a pretty tough girl. So have fun. Mikhail out. Bye!